So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to import shape files and calculate a soil adjusted vegetation index using Landsat 8 image in Google Earth Engine. So now let's get started. So first we need to import our shape files from our asset section in Google Earth Engine. So we have to navigate to this option here, assets. In that you can able to visualize here, we have uploaded our shape files into our Earth Engine here. So you can able to visualize from the cloud assets. These are the available uh, the shape files and similarly so uh, here you can able to visualize we're gonna, uh, uh, we're gonna import a shape file that is study area ls into our earth engine so for that we have to click this option called import into script so first let me delete this particular one here gonna delete this so I have now deleted my uh, the already imported my shape files now we're going to import this particular shape file into earth engine so we're going to click this option called import into script so now we can able to visualize here now let me rename this uh, into study area so now I have entered as study area here you can able to visualize here and how to import a shape file into earth engine uh, the video will be given in the description so you can able to take a look at that so uh, in this video we are just uh, importing our uh, shape file from our asset section of earth engine into into our co into our code editor so once you are imported our study area shape file from our asset section of google earth engine so you can uh, next we can uh, import our lancer 8 image into earth engine so to filter it by a specific time and uh, we're gonna filter it by study area so for that we defined a variable called data set equals to double dot image collection landsat lc09 and collection to tire one top of the atmosphere and we're going to filter with the specific study area that is dot filter bound study area study area represents our uh, this particular study area here you can able to see that so this is our study area boundary and now next we're going to filter with specific time that is dot filter date 2022 january 1 2022 december 31st and next we're going to set a visualization parameter for study area so for that we define map.add layer study area uh, curly brackets refers to the default visualization parameter and output the layer name as study area and to center this particular uh, layer we define map.center object study area with a specific zoom level and next we have to define a SAVI calculation here so let me explain about this particular for Lancet 8 image so was uh, Lancet soil adjusted vegetation index uh, Lancet Soil Adjusted Vegetation Index is used to correct a normalized difference vegetation index for an influence of soil brightness in an area where a vegetative cover is low. So the SAVI, that is Soil Adjusted Vegetation Index, is used to correct the normalized uh, difference vegetation index for the influence of soil brightness in an area where the vegetative cover is low. The Lancet Surface Reflectance uh, Derived SAVI is calculated as a ratio between the red, red and NIR values with a soil brightness correction factor of L and defined as a 0 0.5 to accommodate the most land cover types. So this is a formula to calculate the soil adjusted vegetation index NIR minus red divided by NIR plus red plus L. So L here represents the brightness correction factor that is 0 0.5 here. This is the soil brightness correction factor of L with the value of 0 0.5 and multiplying the uh, 1 plus L. L represents our soil brightness correction factor that is 1 plus 0 0.5 that is 1.5. So for Lancet 8 and 9 the SAVI is uh, band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4 plus 0 0.5 multiplying 1.5. So 1.5 here represents 1 plus the brightness correction factor of 0 0.5. So now let me get back to our earth engine. So now here to define SAVI calculation function, we defined a variable called cal SAVI, that is calculation SAVI equals to function image and uh, it defines the function to calculate SAVI for each image in the image collection. So we defined a variable called SAVI equals to image dot expression. So NIR minus red divided by NIR plus red plus L, that is soil brightness correction factor multiplying 1 plus L. So here the NIR is a we're gonna select image dot select band 5 so band 5 here represents as a NIR band in Lancet 8 image and similarly the red band here represented as image dot select 
band 4. The band 4 here represents the red band and L uh, that is L here represented as 0 0.5 that is soil brightness correction uh, factor. So we're going to rename as uh, rename Savi dot uh, copy properties image system start time and return Savi. So next to apply the Savi calculation to the image collection we defined a variable called uh, Savi collection equals to dataset dot map uh, calc Savi here that is represented this particular variable here. So maps the Savi calculation function over the Lancet 8 image collection. And next we defined a variable called Savi clip equals to Savi collection dot map function image. So maps a function over the Savi image collection to clip each image over the specific uh, study area. And next uh, return image dot clip study area. At last we are going to set up a visualization parameter for this uh, image that is soil adjusted vegetation index for that. We define a variable called Savi with that is visualization parameter. We set a minimum value of minus one and to a maximum value of plus one. So the color palettes here represented as red, yellow, and green. And next to uh, to add this layer into our Earth engine, we define map dot add layer Savi dot median function and Savi vis represents our visualization parameter and output the layer name as Savi that is soil adjusted vegetation index. So now let us visualize the result here. So now go to this option called run script and uh, click run script. So you can able to visualize we have two different layer. One is our soil adjusted vegetation index and second is our study area. So this is our study area boundary polygon. You can able to uh, visualize it. And now this is our soil adjusted vegetation index. So in this video I have shown you how to import the shape files from your asset section and calculate the soil adjusted vegetation index using Landsat 8 image in Google Earth Engine. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. And the codes will be given in the description. Thanks for watching.